Yo, what's going on guys, Border Surgery here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Acorns and Stash account after 5 months. We're going to be comparing and contrasting both of them and see which one I'm getting a better performance. So first, we're going to take a look at Acorns. As you guys can see in my account summary, I have invested $700.60 with 89 cents. And dividends, I have gotten $5.13. My total gain as of today is $22.99. with $5 in referrals and I have withdrawn $475 off my account. And the reason I did that was when I opened my Stash account, I wanted to have the same amount of money uh, starting on both accounts, which was like $65, I believe. And now we're at $313 with 88 cents on Acorn's account. And I'm putting in $10 a week on both of the accounts. And then the last time I uploaded a video, I had only nine dollars and seventy-five cents of profit, um, total gain, and now I have twenty-two dollars with ninety-nine cents. That's almost thirteen dollars, and I'm only counting basically thirteen dollars of profit since then because those nine dollars I've been having since I first started my Acorns account over a year ago now, but I started a Stash account later, so I'm only counting the difference between then and now. If you get what I mean. Uh, so it's basically like thirteen dollars of profit that I have uh, that I have gotten since I created both accounts and started comparison. It's kind of hard to I guess explain, but try to do the best I can. So that pretty much that's it I think for this uh, portfolio. So now we can jump into Stash. So you guys can see on Stash, I have $309 with 81 cents. My total return is $10.81, 3.61%. So that's 11, almost $11. And the last time I made a video comparing these two, I was down 39 cents. So you guys can see I'm up over $10, $10 now. So... As of right now, I'm getting a little better performance on Acorns, but then again, I will, at the time I was a student, so with students you get charged, um, no, you, I don't think you get charged fees or hardly any fees on Acorns because you got, you're a student, so that's one of the benefits. And on this one you don't, you get charged a dollar, and I'm not sure if they remove it from my total return or they just remove it from my bank account because last time they just removed the one dollar from my bank account so i don't think it matters but total return on this is almost eleven dollar dollars and on acorns was thirteen but but then again so but then again it's not much of a difference as of right now but then later probably more into the future and start investing more money it can probably make a difference and now on this one i tell you everything right there the total portfolio the return the percent and by buying power, I only have one cent. I tried to use everything up when I bought more shares or fractional. I can probably get another video and show you guys the difference, but I think that's pretty much it for the difference comparing and contrasting both of the apps. Right now, I'm getting a better performance on Robin Hood account by two dollars. So it's not much, not a big difference. I'm happy with the performance on both of them, especially on Stash. I'm getting. I feel like it's been going up faster than my my Acorns account. So probably more into the future, maybe this one's going to go up higher than my Acorns account. But that's something we've got to see in the future. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time.